to get on Cheddar. Stay tuned. All right, we are one year into the coronavirus pandemic and one sector that's quietly been changing is customer service as more and more companies turn to artificial intelligence to meet the increasing demands of customers. So joining me now is Tiffany Bova, Global Growth Evangelist at Salesforce. Uh, Tiffany, it's great to see you this afternoon. Nice to see you as well, Kristen. Thank you for having me. Of course. So Salesforce just releasing its annual state of service report. Just how much did demand change in the customer service space during the pandemic? Well, what's been really interesting is this pandemic has forced businesses to rethink the modes of doing business. It also exposed some shortcomings from a customer service standpoint. But one of the new trends we've actually been paying attention to is the fact that we've all had to make appointments for things that we used to take for granted, like going to the zoo or even picking up a holiday tree. And so those safe experiences are really, really important. And Salesforce calls this this appointment economy. In fact, 82% of people say they are more willing to visit a business in person if they can make an appointment. That's a huge impact for so many companies. Yeah, I bet. Hopefully something that sticks around uh, post pandemic as well, Tiffany. I know flexibility uh, was also a key part of this report. What did it have to say in that regard? Well, when you think about how we used to get service, you know, if I just I'm going to give myself as an example, like today I was having a washing machine delivered and it was this big, you know, four hour window. But what has gotten much better is as brands have pivoted during this time over the last 12 months and using AI and automation and being much more digital first, it's having insights for, as a consumer to actually know when that person is showing up and also knowing how am I gonna keep myself and my family safe as someone is entering my home. So as your previous guest was mentioning, just this customer service and field services had such an opportunity to improve the way in which they engage with consumers. You know, people feel more comfortable uh, around having this flexibility, but also this safety concern. You know, people want to be engaged in person, but this appointment economy is really changing that in so many ways. Uh, and so that customer service opportunity for all size businesses really levels the playing field to make sure that you are driving for loyalty and satisfaction amongst your customer base. Mm -hmm. And I know that many companies, uh, Tiffany, have turned to artificial intelligence or AI basically to meet the growing demands. Consumers, Americans, understandably so, are worried that AI will cost jobs if it hasn't already. Have you found that that is the case? Well, look, if you have a digital first mentality, it's about how do we augment the human with artificial intelligence and technology to improve the experience, not only that your employees will have, but your consumers and customers will have as well. And so thinking about that appointment economy as an example, you know, that AI and automation and machine learning, that is the thing that is triggered to send me a notification that my driver is a half an hour away or my appointment is tomorrow at 10 a.m. This active communication at scale is really difficult for humans and especially for small businesses and medium, but more importantly, very large businesses that have thousands of customers. This gives them a way to make sure they stay connected with customers using technology in this digital first world, but also keeping the customer and employee safety front and center. Mm -hmm. Tiffany, did the report dive into how many consumers uh, would prefer to have the customer experience online uh, versus another method? Well, 70% of customers still say they want service experiences in person, but that also leads you to say it has to be safe. And that's why that appointment and setting that appointment and having that capability is a really great way to make sure that you are satisfying demand. Look, appointments are not new in so many industries, but we could be better at doing that. And those kinds of uh, sectors, especially retailers and small businesses that might not have used appointments in the past, are taking this as an advantage, an opportunity to really shore up the fact that they can be better around scheduling of their people and their employees, making sure only so many people are in a store at a, per, a specific point in time, you know, helps them knowing, uh, do they need to hire more people during this time or flex uh, from a work perspective? So it isn't that people want to completely shift online or stay, you know, in person. It is really going to continue to be a hybrid of the two. Mm -hmm. And there are so many questions about what life will look like 
post pandemic. Tiffany, any indications as to how the customer service experience, the customer experience in general is going to be different once we finally get on the other side of this? Well, I think there's a few key trends that have really uh, are going to really stick. And you mentioned one of them, right? Flexibility and response to customer demand, the safety, both for employees and the customer um, using that uh, appointment and a set time to deliver these really personalized experiences and then really thinking about it from a scheduling perspective. But ultimately, you know, rethinking and reimagining how we can continue to serve customers today and into the future as we get back to this kind of next future. Uh, I don't think we're going to go back to the way that it was, and nor do I think it's going to stay the way that it is today. I do think that people, uh, myself included, right, we enjoy the personal connection and the personal service. We just want to do it in a safe manner. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I couldn't agree more. Tiffany, we got to leave it there. Always good to see you. That's Tiffany Bova, Global Growth Evangelist at Salesforce. All right, it was President Biden. Boom!